First comment, chelated calcium deficiency is incredibly common. It's common in humans, it's common in horses, it's common in cattle, it's common in birds. Um, the symptoms are very rarely recognized, simply because people have not seen the huge breadth of things that it do. Even in acute cases, they don't necessarily recognize that they've got a problem. And we are in an area, because the science that's being done on a related area uh, doesn't see these molecules, there is basically no science on this. And uh, a friend and neighbor of ours is, is professor of, uh, of neuroscience and pharmacology at Bristol University. And uh, while she finds what I tell her really interesting, there's no money ever going to look at it, because Big Pharma is not interested in something that's going to put their drugs out of business. So what does chelated calcium help with? Firstly, strengthen the structure of bones. There's no surprise in that, is there? But it's not because it's providing the calcium. In, in our horse work in Australia, we actually take the calcium supplements away from these horses, give them a tiny bit of this, and these are horses with really weak and, and demineralized bones, and their bones sort themselves out, even though they're getting less calcium. So chelated calcium is regulating it. The most common ones you will see are rickets and splayed, uh, splayed legs in babies. That's not so much, a, especially the splayed legs, is not necessarily a bone issue. It's a muscle issue. It's the muscles not holding the legs where they belong. So not surprisingly, nerves and muscles start functioning properly uh, when we give them chelated calcium. Uh, a, a good example of this, slightly different from rickets and whatever, when we had an ostrich industry in this country, which didn't, didn't last long, um, they're feeding, they're fe they were feeding their birds incredibly high protein diets. These things were growing incredibly fast. And what they got was a leg rotation. The legs started twisting around because the, because the muscles were not holding it in the right place. And the vets were going, oh, the flooring's a problem, and this, that, and the other. Um, absolutely guarantee you we would stop leg rotation overnight with a chelated calcium supplement. Now, those birds, those birds were on really high calcium diets. They were on pretty well 3% calcium, and normal would be 1% calcium. And yet it didn't stop that problem, but chelated calcium did. Egg binding in hens. Uh, classic problem. Um, poor shell quality and small clutches. Falling off perches. African greys seem to do it in the middle of the night. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's interesting because there does seem to be a temperature relationship to this too. So African greys don't fall off during the day, but if their body temperature drops, I don't know, half a degree or something overnight, they will fall off. And what's happening? They can't grip anymore. Their nerves and muscles have stopped functioning. Uh, they don't do it on chelated calcium supplements. Poor coordination and flying. Uh, fits and seizures. These are getting serious by now, I have to say. And tragically, we've, we've over the years treated quite a lot of treated. I'm not allowed to say that, am I? Um, dealt with a number of birds that have been on all sorts of anti-convulsive drugs and things like that. Um, and if you get them quickly enough with chelated calcium, you fix them. Fear and aggression. Um, if your bird's brain is not working properly, which it won't, if it becomes chelated calcium uh, deficient, it will start to, uh, it'll, it'll feel nervous. Uh, this, this, this is our business in horses, by the way, is fear and aggression. We sell chelated calcium to get the brain working properly, and at that point they don't have to be nervous and spooky and whatever. Self-mutilation sort of where we started, not understanding it. So the reason these, these symptoms are commonly misdiagnosed by vets is firstly, all of those things like muscles and nerves, they don't really associate with calcium. They think calcium bones, teeth, that's about it. Secondly, you can do a, a blood test for total blood calcium. It tells you absolutely nothing about the amount of chelated calcium in the system, and there is no blood test for chelated calcium. So all the research we've done has been really difficult to deal with. And sadly, we've been selling, oh, not, not us, because we, we were lucky we, we came across chelated calcium by accident, but, but people have been stuffing your parrot pellets full of limestone and dicalcium phosphate. Um, and offering, telling you that cuttlefish bone is the best thing since sliced bread and whatever. And the reality is, um, 
they don't do what chelated calcium does.